Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Nicole and my family. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my one of my favorite subs at home. Um, so if you're interested in seeing what I put on my sub, please stay tuned and keep watching. So, you can't really see, maybe you can, let's see. I have a flat griddle over here. I have four strips of bacon on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on and let my bacon cook. And the bacon I'm using is the Gauntney Bacon um, brand. And I have my French bread, a whole loaf, but I'm only gonna use half of this. So I'm going to already open it up, so I'm going to take it out and just cut half of it. And I usually like to put my hands out and measure it that way, of how I can get my half. I just do like that and just try to go as much in the middle as I possibly can. Because usually when I make my subs, I usually make a whole sub. Because usually my husband is home when I make them and he gets the other half. But it's just me, he's at work right now. And I already made the kids some lunch. They had um, macaroni and cheese and um, chicken nuggets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, a, cut along here in the side just to open the bread up. So the things that I like to put on my sub are some tomato, some green leaf lettuce, some avocado, slices of cucumber. I like to add in some Sargento, I think that's how you say it, ultra thin Swiss cheese. Some Hellman's real mayonnaise, some Heinz yellow mustard, and also some Hillshire Farm smoked ham, the ultra thin one. I hope you guys can see that really well. So I'm gonna take you through the steps of how I do this to make my yummy sauce. And the lettuce that I'm using is the green leaf lettuce. This is the one I'm using. So the first thing I do is open up my mayonnaise. Wow. <laughs> and I just take some out. I don't really like a lot of mayonnaise. Not a mayonnaise girl. So I just get like about that much. And I just Put it on my bread. So I'm gonna get about the same amount and add it on the other side of my bread. Keep up with the time because you gotta get back on at two o'clock, okay? Okay. Just talking to my son Philip, he's Okay, my kids are going home school right now. So I have to keep an eye on them. So that's how the mayonnaise on the bread looks. So I'm keeping an eye on them. Make sure they get on time. Get on back on class on time. And I don't like to get too much mustard as well. Just a little bit to give it some flavor. Then I smash it down. Okay, there we have it. Mustard and meal on my bread. Maybe let me close this up. Let me just flip my bacon real quick, guys. Give me one second. Just take 
and my bacon off. Some of them are getting browner and quicker than the others. So, let the rest of that keep cooking and let's keep moving on. So, I do like to put my cheese down first. I really like this cheese. My husband got me into this Swiss cheese. I didn't use the light Swiss cheese, but now that's like the only one I buy when I make my subs. So I'm gonna put down at least three of them on the bread. That's how it looks. Okay, I'm gonna put down some more, but on the top of my ham. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my ham. Put one slice down and another slice down. Then Slice up some tomatoes to put on my bread. And then I like to just cut it in half. Do it like that, like that. I like a little bit of layers on my so you'll see me add a couple layers on. I'm gonna add some green leaf lettuce. Just lay that on top of there like that. Go ahead and add me some cucumbers on there. Okay, let me go ahead and cut my avocado. Nice. I keep getting the good ones. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Usually I get some ones that's like mis discolored in the inside. Ready to eat, but it's like black and green or something. So I'm just going to put a couple of the slices of the avocado, or bits of the avocado on top of the sub, the cucumber. All right, let me get the last bit of my bacon off of the griddle. And I just sit it on this plate to kind of help drain out some of the grease before I put it on my sub. Okay, I'm back. I didn't realize that I got cut off from recording because the emergency signal came into the phone. So right now, I have my Swiss cheese on the bottom. Two slices of ham, some tomatoes, some lettuce, green leaf lettuce, some cucumber, some avocado. My bacon is all done, so I got it off my griddle. So I'm gonna add on my bacon now. I'm just gonna add on two strips of bacon, one on each side. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with that second layer of cheese. I'm gonna just do two slices right now. One on that bacon and one on this bacon. Now I'm gonna put some more tomatoes. I'm gonna add some lettuce on that. And then put on some cucumbers back on top of that. And adding some more bits of avocado. I know you guys are probably wondering, like, um, do she not realize how big that is? I do, like, I know what I'm st when I start eating, it might be some bits and pieces fall out, but I'm still gonna eat that too, so that's okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna, before I put on my layer of bacon, my last layer of bacon, I like to put my salt and pepper on, because I don't want the bacon to be salty, extra salty. So just a little bit of salt. Okay, 
some bacon. I mean bacon. <laughs> some pepper. And then lastly, another two bacons on top. And that's how it's looking. Oh no! Oh no! So yummy and it tastes so yummy. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> so on the sub, remember it is Swiss cheese. You got ham, you got bacon, you got tomatoes, you got cucumbers, you got green leaf lettuce, you got tomatoes, avocado, salt and pepper, mustard and mayonnaise. So if you can't get to Subway or any other sub place, just grab your ingredients at your local store and make you a fresh sub at home. All right. So I just want to say thank you all for watching my video and joining me as I make one of my favorite subs at home. I hope you try it out. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day. Please like my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video. And also you can follow me on Instagram. Thanks again everyone. See you next time. Bye.